today we are going to show you how you can connect a PS4 controller to your PC. So here is our PS4 controller. So let's get started. First of all, you should go to the link this in given in the description box down below and download a software called DS4. So let me focus on this. So here you got a download button above this red button it is in green color so when you have downloaded this file in your PC now you have to get your controller and press some button combinations on it just press and hold let me focus on this so for let's press and hold share and PS4 button until the front light blinks so it start blinking now it's in pairing mode now everything you have to do on your PC if we are on our PC and here you have to do some settings on your PC if you have a Bluetooth then you can just connect it to the Bluetooth and if you have a, to don't have Bluetooth then you can just simply plug it with the USB I have Bluetooth so I'm going to show you how you can connect using Bluetooth so as you know our controller is in pairing mode now go to your Bluetooth settings and open add device add device here select Bluetooth and it will detect your controller as an input device click on it if it asks for the pin enter just enter 0, 0, 0, 0, 4 times 0 and click on connect so our controller is connected and light is static on our controller so now we have done everything now we have to just configure our DS4 for this controller as you know we have downloaded DS4 now extract it wherever you want so I have extracted here so in the extracted file you got two files DS4 updater and DS4 windows copy these two files open your local disk C drive and in program files make your a folder named DS4 make sure it is in capitals as you can see so paste both these files here so I have pasted both these files now just you have to click on DS4 windows and wait for it to open it will ask you to select your control configuration folder now click on this installer and if you have a windows 7 you can click here and download the 360 driver as you can see it is opening installer for me now as you can see it says install so let's install this thing and it shows install complete click on finish So as you can see I, it has detected my controller now you can use the default profile for it and as you can see it has been uh, used now I am using my d-pad to control the mouse so let's open up minecraft and see the controller works or not. So let me switch to the camera so can you can clearly view that our controller is working or not so now as you can see we are in the minecraft so here is our dualshock 4 controller as you can see as i am moving my finger on um, thumb on this trackpad and it will using as a mouse so let me show you the controller works or not as you can see let's click on play let's choose my world and let it load So here is our controller working successfully in our game as you can see so let me show you that I am not going I am not using my mouse or keyboard here you can see we can go here here as you can see I am fully using my PS4 controller so let's so this is all for this video, thanks for watching, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get the latest updates.